Mr. President. Senator from Nevada. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I rise today to speak on an issue that will impact every single one of my constituents and probably every colleague's constituents here in this, uh, in this uh, body, namely the Environmental Protection Agencies and the Army's Corps of Engineers definition for navigable waters. I also, also known as Waters of the U.S., this overreaching and burdensome regulation is bad for Nevada and, frankly, Mr. President, it's bad for the nation. My home state of Nevada is one of the driest states in the nation, and the water, of course, is a very, very precious resource. The only thing more scarce than water uh, in the Silver State is probably private property, and the implementation of this Waters of the U.S. rule will only do more harm for both of these. Since coming to Congress, one of my primary goals has been to promote job-creating policies that grow Nevada's economy. And the key to promoting these types of policies is to cut red tape regulations handed down by Washington bureaucrats. Unfortunately, time and time again, this administration is bound and determined to issue overly burdensome regulations that damage the economy and stifles job creation. The latest edict from uh, Washington bureaucrats uh, is no different. After years of failed legislative attempts to change the scope of reg regulatory authority over water, this administration has overturned both congressional intent and multiple Supreme Court decisions to further overregulate hardworking Nevadans. I've long been an outspoken advocate and co-sponsor of Senator Barrasso's legislation, the Federal Waters Quality Protection Act, which would make the EPA and the Army Corps of Engineers re redo this rule and consider stakeholders' input, something they completely ignored the last time around. Mr. President, considering that 87 percent of my home state is managed by the federal government, who I often refer to as our federal landlords, it's easy to see why this rule is thought of by many back home as yet another federal land grab. I've heard from many of my constituents have shared with me their staunch opposition to this rule. Like Marlo from Ruby Valley and Daryl from Urington, they write about this rule, and I'll quote, creates confusion and risk by providing the agency with almost unlimited authority to regulate at their discretion, discretion any low spot where rainwater collects, including farm ditches, drainages, agricultural ponds, and isolated wetlands found in and near farms and ranching. The EPA may tell you that farmers and ranchers are protected from this regulation by exemptions under the Clean Water Act. The problem with this so-called exemption is, is if you've made any changes on your farmland or your ranch since 1977, that impacts any land or any water on your property, you don't qualify for an exemption. Think about it again. Since 1977, if you've made any changes on your ranch land or your farm that impacts water or land, you don't qualify for this exemption. So under this new rule, almost everyone would be regulated. Ranching is the backbone of Nevada's rural economy. Implementation of this rule will devastate Nevada's landowners and businesses. Like Marlow and Darrell, I believe this rule needs to be redone with significant impact from local stakeholders, and in a way that will not impact the ability of Nevada ranchers to provide food for Americans. Unfortunately, the Senate was not even able to proceed to this measure and debate legislation to exert some much-needed oversight over the EPA due to the left circle the wagon mentality of the Obama agenda. And although I was sad to see this vote fail, today I'm proud to stand in support of Senator Ernst's resolution of disapproval, which will send this regulation back to the administration, send a clear message that Congress doesn't accept overreaching regulations created by Washington bureaucrats. Fact is, Mr. President, the implementation of this rule has already been halted by the federal courts. I strongly believe that at the end of the day, the courts will decide to overturn this onerous regulation. That's why I stand here today to urge my colleagues to support this res resolution of disapproval. Instead of waiting years for the courts to decide, Congress needs to take immediate action to show this administration that we will not stand for any more regulations that kills jobs and stifles economic growth. Good stewardship of our natural resources is part of Nevada's character that makes it so unique.
This is not about dirty water or rollback of the Clean Water Act. This is about federal regulations that severely limits land use, infringes on property rights, and diminishes economic activity in Nevada and nationwide. This is about federal regulatory overreach by an agency that is using the Clean Water Act as a means to greatly increase its authority. At a time when the American public is still waiting for answers on the Animas River spill in Colorado, I find it greatly disturbing that this agency is using clean drinking water as an excuse to gain authority over all waters in the U.S. Enough is enough with these power trips. Should we really trust the Environmental Pollution Agency with this? As a sportsman, I grew up understanding the importance of being a good steward of our environment. I support efforts that balance conservation and economic growth, and that's why I urge my colleagues to stand with me against this administration's heavy-handed mandates. Mr. President, thank you, and I yield the floor.